Pray. Watch and pray that you may be counted worthy to escape. Mm -hmm. All right? And I'm surprised the, the, the rapturists don't really use the scriptures. I mean, that's, man, that's, that's powerful. See, escape. Well, now the question is, what does God mean when he says escape? Mm -hmm. What does God mean when he says escape? Is that the rapture? Yeah. Let's, let's look at Isaiah 57. We're going to look at the three escapes, and we'll conclude this lesson on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 57. So one option of escape, to not suffer tribulation, is what Isaiah 57 details for us. And it says in verse 1, The righteous perish, and no man lays it to heart, and merciful men are taken away. None considereth that the righteous is taken away from the evil <coughs> to come. Hmm. So death is one way to escape the great tribulation. <laughs> right? That's one way. Okay? Let's go to um, Revelation 7. So in Revelation 7, the tribulation is about to start, and here's, here's what goes out. It's saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So the other way of escaping is being sealed. Now, guess what? If you're born again, that is, you have the Holy Ghost, you are Sealed. 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 So sealing doesn't have to occur if you're already sealed. Yeah. If you're in the Holy Ghost. Are you with me? Yeah. 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 Okay? But as a matter of fact, let's read it. Go to Ephesians 4.30. Come on now. I don't want you to leave it there saying, well, I don't know what he said, but he said it. No. <laughs> let's, let's read it. Ephesians 4, verse 30. It says, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, mm. whereby you were sealed unto the day of redemption. Okay? Now, even being sealed is like, if you go back and study in Exodus, right? The example of the tribulation, the children of Israel in Egypt, as God brought ten plagues. If you study it, you notice they suffered the first three. He only protected them after the third one. Yes. Oof. He only protected them after the third. Okay? Now, interesting. Why did we do it back then? But I find if he, does, if he did it back then, he's probably going to do it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. okay. Let's look at Revelation chapter 2, shall we? Yes. yes. Let's look at Revelation chapter 2. Here's what he tells this, this group of Christians in verse 10 and 11. <coughs> this is the church of Smyrna. <laughs> it says, Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Mm. Be thou faithful unto yeah. death, yeah. <laughs> and I will give thee a crown of life. Amen. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Mm. This is very important. See, if, if I'm a Christian, the first death should be irrelevant to me. Because mm -hmm. if I'm a Christian, then I know when I die, <laughs> I'm, I'm present with Christ. Absent from the body, okay. present with the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, right? And if I'm a Christian, my whole focus is being with Christ anyway. Mm -hmm. So if anything, even Paul was saying, I'm confused. <laughs> on one hand, I want to be with Christ, but I guess you guys still need me. But 
he was he was he was he was torn. He was looking forward to being with Christ. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. See, if I'm in Christ, then the second death, eternal separation from God, is not a concern of mine. And that's a death I should be concerned about. The first one, and will be, is the second one I should care about. Are you with me? Amen. So the reason you're suffering is that you don't have a second death. That's the reason for suffering. So you don't end up in the second death. Amen. The true wrath of God. Amen. The seven years of tribulation, that's called the wrath of God too. Mm -hmm. But the true wrath of God yeah. is being eternally separated from God. From God. They'll be weeping and gnashing, gnashing of teeth. And he, he said to the, the, the Jews, he says, there you are, you see Abraham, Jacob, Israel coming in, and you yourselves will be cast out. Cast out. Let that not be anyone who hears this, these words. Amen. Suffering is necessary. Amen. Let's stop trying to escape. Let's embrace it. Let's glory in it. Tribulation. In, in, in tribulation. Let's glory in it because it has a benefit. It keeps us from the second death. It keeps us from the second death. It keeps us from, from being lifted up in pride and getting a big head. Are you with me? Amen. Are you with me? Amen. And let's